Today on Low Carb with Jennifer, we are going to make the fat head pizza crust, and I'm gonna show you all of my tips and tricks to make it as easy as possible. You can find the link to the recipe in the description below, or you can go to jenniferbands.com and search pizza. Okay guys, um, if you don't notice, we have all of our toppings here. We're gonna make pizza. So we're gonna use a fat head crust to make our pizza. And so what is a fat head crust? That is almond flour. And I know some people have used coconut flour, but we use almond flour, mozzarella cheese, and egg and cream cheese to make the crust. And in my opinion, I think it's better than um, you know, traditional pizza crust. So right now I've got this, some almond flour in a bowl. This is, um, three quarters of a cup of almond flour. And I've got one and three quarters of a cup of mozzarella cheese. It's already been shredded. And I'm going to combine the two in this bowl. And the reason why I do this, and this is not how most people you know, make the fat head crust. But I do it this way, it just makes it so much easier to stir after we microwave it, because that's how we're going to melt the cheese. We're gonna microwave it for about a minute to get everything melted. I'm also gonna put in some salt. Just makes it, mixing all this stuff, it just makes it so much easier to stir once it's been melted. And if you don't want to microwave it, you can put this on a pot of boiling water and stir it as it melts and it will you know, work just the same, work really well. But anyway, we're gonna microwave this for about a minute, stir it, and if it needs to be microwaved a little bit more, we will microwave it a little bit more. Okay, our cheese is melted. I pulled it out of the microwave. This took about a minute and 20 seconds. So I'm gonna add in our cream cheese and stir that in. Get that incorporated. And we want to get this cooled down a little bit before we add in our egg, because we don't want to cook our egg. So I'm just using a spoon to incorporate the cream cheese and also Pull the dough down a little bit. It's still pretty hot. Okay, now we can add in our egg. Can we? You're just gonna have to use your hand to get this incorporated into the the cheese dough. So I've already got my oven preheating to 400 degrees, and we are going to bake this crust for about 10 minutes. Um, Pre-bake it directly. We're going to put it on this parchment paper, which I can do that right now. And we are going to pre-bake it for about 10 minutes in our oven. So first, we need to get it all spread out onto this piece of parchment paper. And I'm going to get another piece of parchment paper and roll it with a rolling pin. Well, I don't have a rolling pin, so I'm gonna have to use my hands. So, you know what? I bet you a lot of home cooks don't have rolling pins. I do at home, but I don't here, so we are just going to make do with what we've got. And this is how I normally do it. And actually, we're gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on my hands to help spread this out. Okay, I put a little bit of oil on my hands and that's gonna help me get this spread out more evenly. And 
and try and get it round. Or oblong might be my best bet. And you can see it's starting to get spread out. And it doesn't have to be perfect, obviously, because mine's not. <laughs> and almost got it all spread out here. And voila, how's that? Okay, I need to wash my hands. Okay, now we are going to put this in the oven for about 10 minutes. And if any bubbles pop up on top, just poke them with a fork or a knife so they won't get bigger. And that's it. And this is gonna go directly on the oven rack. So just put this right on the oven rack for about 10 minutes. Okay, our pizza crust is all out of the oven. It looks golden, brown, and delicious. So we're gonna put our toppings on. So I've got pizza sauce, some hamburger meat, some olives, cheese, of course, green pepper and pepperoni. And the type of pizza sauce you want, if you, if you make your own, you can go to the grocery store and pick one that has the least amount of net carbs. That's what I do. It's, I mean, each person is gonna get maybe two tablespoons. So we put our sauce on there and we'll put next some ground beef. I'm gonna load this baby up. It's gonna be so good. Okay, now we can put some cheese. More cheese, more cheese, please. Perfect, perfect. And some olives. Actually, no, I'm gonna put the peppers first. Make them all pretty. That's a thick one. Okay, how pretty does that look? Now some green olives. <laughs> some black olives, what am I saying? Last but not least, some pepperoni. One more. Ta-da, ta-da. How does that look? That looks amazing. Okay, let's put this back in the oven for another 10 minutes at 400 degrees for it to, all the cheese to melt. And the crust is gonna get nice and crispy. And we're gonna put it back on the rack the same way we did before, the parchment paper directly onto the rack. 
Okay, here's our pizza out of the oven. It looks fabulous. So we're gonna cut it with uh, this crazy pizza cutter that I've got here. Let's see how this works. Oh, it's pretty cool. Okay. Let's cut this like Okay, cut that the best I can. This person on the end, this would be baby pieces. This person got gypped. Okay, look at that. You can pick it up. It's perfect. Let's get a bite. Got a cheese pull. Mm -mm -mm. That is so good. Okay guys, I hope you like this video um, and this fat head pizza crust recipe, keto pizza, whatever you want to call it. The link is in the description below. You can also go to my website, jenniferbands.com and search for pizza. I've got several other different types of pizza recipes on there, not just this one. And please like and subscribe and we will see you guys later. Bye.